This is a tunnel dome that I built as a prototype almost two years ago. I wanted to test the design before I started selling the tunnel dome plans and kits to the general public. And so I've been using the tunnel dome as a barn for our sheep, and here's what I've learned. First, I added four solar panels from Harbor Freight to provide lighting, which has worked out great. The sides of the tunnel dome were covered with chicken wire and woven wire that was zip tied to the frame to keep the sheep in and the coyotes out. I replaced the 120 pound plastic zip ties with 350 pound stainless steel zip ties, which made the design much stronger. The sides of the tunnel dome are held to the ground with two foot long rebar stakes, which I drove into the ground with a hammer. The tarp that covers the tunnel dome is connected directly to the rebar stakes and not the tunnel dome, so if the wind does pull the tarp loose, it won't catch the wind and take the tunnel dome with it, only some of the stakes. Inside the tunnel dome, I have two batteries from Harbor Freight that are charged by the solar panels and power the lights. I can leave the lights on 24-7 in the summer and then leave them on just overnight in the winter when the days are short. I have added this truss system which has made the cylindrical part of the tunnel dome much stronger. Here is an easy double door system I use to lock the sheep up at night. Since the tunnel dome design has been a success, I will be covering this structure with latex cement for building a permanent barn. So to get the sheep into the barn, I have to feed them some grain. And then I have to call them to come in. Sheep, 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 sheep. Ah, sheep, 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 sheep. These are St. Croix sheep, which is the most parasite resistant sheep breed in the world, so I never have to worm them or vaccinate them or anything. And that means they're 100% pure, no chemicals, no drugs, nothing, just grass. Since they are hair sheep and not wool sheep, they never have to be sheared and they naturally lose their fleece in the spring and summer. There's over 625 square feet of space in this tunnel dome. I have an older sheepdog named Moses that is half Anatolian Shepherd and half Great Pyrenees. And two Great Pyrenees pups named Chance and Lucky to help me keep the coyotes at bay. Great Pyrenees make the best sheepdogs. They seem to naturally want to stay with the sheep and they take very little training. They're really the best. We have our tunnel dumps for sale right now as plans that you can download from our website. We are gearing up our inventory for releasing the tunnel dumps as kits later this year. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.